Assalamu alaikum. The last video I did was my giveaway video on the 4th of September and that is really what two weeks more than two weeks ago and I apologize for not uploading any videos especially to the new subscribers to who have joined since the giveaway thank you all for subscribing for uh, taking part in the giveaway and congratulations to those who won I have been meaning to do this um, frequently asked questions video because I get so many questions asked and I put up on my Facebook page that you could ask me anything you want and some of you did so let's get started I'll be looking to the side because that's where my laptop is and I'm reading the questions off the internet um, before I get started with those questions that you asked me on Facebook I think I should start with my first most asked question is how old I am I you all know how old I am by now especially since I posted my giveaway video but anyway for those who don't I am 30 years old yes 3-0 those who watch me on YouTube and who comment you really make my day sometimes because you think I'm so young and it feels so I guess relaxing to know that people think I'm young well I'm not I am 30 years old and it's really funny people think like I think today or yesterday someone commented that I look 13 13 seriously I don't think so <laughs> there's no way I look 13 or oh, then a very mature 13 then but yeah anyway so thank you very much for making my day with your lovely comments and telling me as well how pretty I am which is really nice so thank you very much the other most asked question is um, what's the other most asked question I can't remember I thought there was another one Maybe I'll think, um, see, this is what uh, old age does to you. I keep forgetting. I knew there were two questions and now I can only think of one. If the second most asked question pops up, I will um, let you know. So anyway, let's head off to the questions. Uh, Sister Amira asked me, who is your role model? Well, I have different role models because I have one... Um, I don't know, I just categorize them for one business-wise, one um, family-wise, one religion-wise, you know, that kind of thing. So, but the, the one that's top of the list is our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi I mean, what better role model do we want for ourselves in our lives? Because not only do we gain um, happiness in dunya by following um, his sayings or his lifestyle, but we also get the thawab in akhirah, inshallah. So, yes, he would be my uh, role model. Um, Noor, Sister Noor Dina asked me, Where are you from? Well, I am from Oman. Oman is in the Middle East, next to Dubai, uh, United Arab Emirates. Yeah, you all know where that is, I hope. Anyway, it's look it up, we're in the Middle East. And I am half uh, Romani and half French. My mother is French and my father is Romani. To know more about me, watch my what's my accent tag video. I talk about a little bit about my background there. Sister An Rahman says, "What is your favorite casual and trendy hijab style that you love to wear?" Um, I think my most uh, go-to hijab style will be my everyday hijab style because that's just. I don't have to think much and it's usually I wear that usually when I, with an abaya so I just you know wrap it twice and I'm done I think that if I'm wearing a pashmina and I have time to think about the colors and stuff like that I usually I guess I wear this I don't remember what number this hijab tutorial is but uh, I'll link it up somewhere here Sister Anastasia asked how do you keep your iman strong I think this is a quite a difficult question, but a very good one, mashallah, uh, Anastasia, so thank you for asking that. I try and look for things in my everyday life to keep my iman strong. For example, the call of prayer. You hear it five times a day. It's like, uh, you know, you're, you're so busy in your daily um, life and the things you have to do, and suddenly, that comes. And, you know, it just hits you, oh, salah time. And it's just that connection that you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that keeps your iman strong and for example when I get into a store I hear music then I'm thinking and then you know it goes into your mind and the beat is there and 
then I sit and think, okay, this is the music. When was the last time I read Quran? When was the last time I heard a recitation of the Quran? So whatever sort of bad thing or thing that I'm not supposed to do comes into my life and I, I sort of try and think of the opposite of what is the right thing for me to do instead of doing that or you know do you get what I'm what I mean um, another thing that keeps my mind strong are funerals um, recently a family member passed away and attending funerals is just like you know you see them take the the body and you just think this could be me so funerals are a big like pause button on your life and just to think about what you where you're heading what do you want to do what are your goals in life and the afterlife we are busy thinking about now and do we think about after so that's just something to think about and okay i have to mention the sister sister nur al huda she has asked me for um to teach her how to make some bags or a purse or something i remember i'm not quite sure what she wants but sister nur al huda this is a message to you inshallah i will get to teach you all how to sew something <laughs> i'm not sure what it is i will try for it to be a purse because this takes time and effort i really need to think about the setting of how i'm going to teach you of you know something that should be beneficial to you i just can't um i can't say when it's going to happen because as i said i need to launch my business first so that is my main priority so just give me time sister Nurul Huda. i thank you for reminding me constantly that you're waiting i know you're waiting just be patient with me jazashallah um, Mahjabeen, Sister Mahjabeen asked me who inspired you to take hijab. Uh, Sister Mahjabeen, thank you very much for the question. You can watch my answer um, in my video, my hijab story, which I'll tag. But just in short, um, there's not just one person that um, led me to become a hijabi. Uh, it's just several people as I was growing up, things they said and you know they talk to me about hijab and what it means and stuff like that and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the age of 16 um hadani as it say in arabic um i don't know what's the the english word for that basically made me realize that hijab is the way i want to go and that's how i started um sister jasmine asked what advice do you have for a new hijabi um, again, sorry, you could watch my my hijab story tag video. Um, I asked the same question and I answered it there. But basically, to take it step by step, um, you have the niyyah to become a hijabi. Try different styles. Don't um, despair. Mashallah, there are lots of sisters doing hijab tutorials. So try a few and um, may Allah always guide you to the right path. Sister Aqila asked me, hijab fashion or, I didn't get the word, siaria, what's your opinion? Now just, uh, Sister Aqila, just please um, clarify that question because I didn't understand it and uh, hopefully I'll answer it in my next video. Sister Imara asked me, your secret for clear skin. I did a... Um, skincare routine video again that link is all gonna be links to all my other videos because i have addressed this before but anyway uh you, you wanted to know so which is nice so it means my videos were not made in vain sort of thing people want to know um but my secret to my clear skin um i've mentioned in my video that i've always been blessed with clear skin alhamdulillah uh the odd spots now and then yes do come but mostly my face has been good to me and um, I maintain my skin by using natural products, um, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, lemon. Um, you know, I mentioned it all in my um, skincare video, so watch that. Um, again, <laughs> Sister Nurul Huda says, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Anyway, uh, again, Sister Frozia asked, uh, your beauty skin how do you take care of your skin do you use natural methods or chemicals face wash scrubs again watch my um i've answered that just now sister and watch my um 
video. If you do have any more questions about the things I use and how they affect my skin, let me know. Sister Maryam asked me, what is your favorite thing to do in Muscat? I've lived in Muscat for 8 months, so I'm curious to know. Mm, good question. Um, what's my favorite thing to do in Oman? Probably something that I haven't done yet, which is visit uh, the interior of Oman and you know the forts. We have a lot of history, so the forts and um, travel around Oman because I haven't done that yet. I've traveled around the world, but I'm you know. But I'm ashamed to say that I haven't traveled in my own country and I want to do that. And I'd like to do that with my girls to show them Rahman and stuff. And Sister Anne Rahman says, what does hijab mean to you? Again, please watch my hijab story video, which I will link here. And hijab is basically who I am. If you take away the hijab from me, you take away Maya. So hijab just is me to me so yeah uh, sister Mahjabeen oh, the same sisters are asking me questions so thank you so much really means a lot that you really want to know more about me anyway you asked me tell uh, tell me about yourself and your family and interest oh mashallah there's a lot you already know about me um, I don't know what else I can add you know that I'm married, you know that I have two girls, you know what my interests are, sewing, uh, reading, uh, doing YouTube videos, um, what else? I also love cars, is that weird? I've been um, buying car magazines ever since I started to drive, which was at the age of 17. I'm into cars, I love going to car showrooms, reading up on cars on the internet. I don't buy the magazines anymore, but I buy the so, sewing magazines, but I still um, love cars, especially the powerful ones. Ah, anyway, Sister Liliana asks, how do you go about starting your own business online or Facebook? Like what inspired you and how you went about it? I haven't started my online business yet, but I've sold through my face. No, I sold through my website before it was a blogspot page, was it? No, it it was on WordPress, and I think I'm going to address this all in another video because I have so much information to share about how you can go about starting your business, and this video just won't, will won't do it. So stick around, Sister Liliana, and inshallah I'll answer that question in another video. Okay, so to wrap this up, the last question comes from Sister Simala. She asks me, where is the question? How do you manage your time between being a mother, a wife, and a sewist? I won't be answering this question now, Sister, because I think it's um, going to be a good question to be answered in my uh, video, which I'm planning to do on how to start a business uh, online or on Facebook. S so yeah i'll leave that question to be answered that video so something to look forward to anyway thank you all for watching this video don't forget to comment to rate and to most of all subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you all in my next video inshallah assalamu alaikum